Sometimes you want a task to show up in your today list every day without it being marked overdue if you don't complete it immediately. A subscriber shared that they had a watch list of 200 videos to go through, but obviously couldn't finish them all in one day. There are a couple of ways to handle this. If your task has subtasks, one option is to assign due dates to each subtask instead of the main task. As you complete each subtask, the next one will appear the following day. Set the main task's due date to match the last subtask, and once everything is done, mark both as complete. A more elegant solution, especially if you don't use subtasks, is to set a duration for the task. Here's how. Go to Due Date and select Duration instead of a specific date. Set a date range for when you expect to complete the task. This keeps the task in your today view without going overdue until the final day of the range. One thing to keep in mind, tasks with a duration will show up prominently in your calendar view. If you'd rather avoid that, here's another power user tip. TickTick's calendar view lets you filter tasks by lists, tags, or custom filters, but it doesn't have a built-in hide from calendar option for individual tasks. Here's how to work around that. First, create a tag. Call it something like no calendar. Assign this tag to any tasks you want to hide from your calendar. Then create a custom filter. First, go to Filters and then Advanced. Name it something like Show on Calendar and add a calendar emoji if you want. Under Filter, choose Tag. Under Logic of Tags, select Not. Then choose the No Calendar tag and hit OK. Now, when you apply this filter in your calendar view, it will exclude all tasks with the No Calendar tag. If you had existing filtering rules for your calendar, you'll need to integrate them into this new filter. For example, if you were previously only showing tasks from list number one, update your filter so that it includes tasks from list number one and tasks without the no calendar tag. With this setup, you now have full control over which tasks appear in your calendar. Let's say you have an important task due next week and you don't want to forget about it. TickTick -tick allows you to set up multiple reminders leading up to the due date. Here's how, and in this example, the task is due in a week. Set the due dates for whenever your task is due. Then under Reminders, go to Custom. Since the task is due in a week, under Days in Advance, we'll start with six days before the due date. And if you like, you can set a specific time of day. Now, click on that reminder and add another one this time for five days in advance. Repeat this process for four, three, two, and one day before. TickTick -tick has built-in options for three, two, and one day reminders, but if you want them at a specific time, you'll need to set them manually using the custom reminder workflow we just went through. For longer term tasks, you can adjust the intervals. If your task is due in a month, for example, you might set reminders every three days at first then switch to daily reminders in the final week. Sadly, even TickTick's premium version only comes with a max of five reminders per task. In order to work around this, you'll have to repeat this process once you arrive at your final reminder. If you have more than those, you'll just have to add them in at that point in time. And I have a full video covering them if you'd like a deep dive. A subscriber wanted to create a filter that shows tasks due on specific days next week like next Monday or Tuesday, but they ran into an issue where the filter showed all tasks due on any Monday or Tuesday, rather than just the upcoming ones. The solution is actually simple. First, enable TickTick's built-in next seven days filter. Then under sort, select group by date. And this gives you a clean breakdown of tasks due each day. But what if you want to exclude certain tasks from this view, like ones with specific tags or from certain lists? For that, we are going to create a custom filter again. So go to Filters and then Advanced, then select Dates, Custom Range, ranging from today to next seven days. Click And, and then add any exclusions you need. For example, in this case, we're going to use the No Calendar tag again. Then save your filter. 
The only downside of a custom filter is that it won't group tasks by individual days, just by today, tomorrow, and next seven days. However, tasks will still be sorted in chronological order, so you can see their due dates at a glance. TickTick has a built-in Pomodoro timer, and a subscriber asked if it's possible to extend a session while it's running. The answer is yes, you can add or subtract five minutes at any time. Just start a Pomodoro session, then adjust the timer as needed. Unfortunately, TickTick doesn't offer custom time increments, but if you're interested in more Pomodoro features that you can configure, check out my full video on the topic. Another subscriber mentioned that they have a lot of lists and feel limited by TickTick's default colors. The good news is you can use custom colors. If you have a large number of lists, here's a good strategy. First, group related lists together using folders. Then assign one base color per category. Lastly, use different shades of that color for individual lists. For example, if you have lists for your family's three vehicles, say, a car, a secondary car, and a motorcycle. You could assign blue as your vehicle category color, and then use different shades of blue for each vehicle. Since TickTick supports over 16 million colors, you won't run out of options anytime soon. I'm closing out with another styling tip. I've talked about Dark Reader, a browser extension that enables dark mode for any websites, and I've been using it for years. But did you know it can also change the font on the TickTick web app. Here's how to do it. Open Dark Reader and enable only for TickTick.com. Then go to More, Font, and select a new typeface. Some of my favorites are Monaco for a very much developer type of look, or Futura. It's incredible how much a simple font change affects the overall aesthetics of an app, isn't it? For those with CSS skills, you can take customization even further. Under More, you'll find four modes that affect site styling. Static modes lets you inject custom CSS to modify TickTick however you like. I used CSS, for example, to color code my sidebar features, making my task icon blue, a green calendar, a yellow Pomodoro timer, and a purple habit tracker. If you create a cool custom theme, share your CSS in the comments. What are your favorite TickTick power user tips? Got a TickTick trick I haven't mentioned yet or a feature you'd love me to explore in a future video? Let me know in the comments.